Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations and in today's video we are going to create this 3D location pop-up in After Effects without using any third-party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported the city drone footage so it's completely up to you. You can use whatever footage you want and after that you can import it in After Effects. And now let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp, let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. And now over here we have our blank composition and first I'm going to drag my stock footage into this just like this and you will notice that the size of this footage is exactly of this comp and in case yours is little bit bigger or smaller then you have to pre-compose this otherwise the tracking won't work after that we are going to do a 3d camera track so just search for 3d camera track and just drag it onto this footage and let it analyze it now the tracking is done you can see that we have bunch of these small points and all these are the marker points so we can select any of these and create a location where we want our object now it is important you have to select only those points where you want your object to be so for example if you want your object to be somewhere around here then you have to select points which are around this area you cannot select the points which are around this now let's zoom in and i want my 3d pop-up to somewhere around this building so i can just simply select any of these three points and let's pick these three points so you can just select them and right click and just create solid and camera now we have this and if i play back here you can see that it is aligned according to the position so we are going to use this so after that we can select this and let me just quickly scale this and we are going to orient it along this so just try to find a perspective where you can see that it looks like that it's on the ground plane so I think this is looking much better so we are going to use this now let's first create our shape so I'm going to select the ellipse tool and let me just quickly disable all of these and now let's start creating it so you can just simply click and hold down the shift key and or control key so that it will create a perfect circle something like this after that I'm going to select this one and I'm going to just simply create another circle just like this now you can see that this circle is within the same layer so let me just quickly place the ellipse one on top after that we can add the merge path so just go to add and click on merge path and make sure that this is below these two after that we can go under the merge path and set this to subtract so you can see that we have this cut out within our shape and we can probably go around this and let's select the transformation and we can change the positions to 0, 0 for this and 0, 0 for this as well so that our both the circles will be in the center something like this and now we can select the ellipse which is this outer one and you can right click and you can go inside it and select the ellipse path and you can right click and click on convert to bezier path after that we can select the pen tool and you can see that I can grab this bottom point and let me just quickly enable the grids and we can select this and you can hold down the alt key or option key if you are on Mac and if you click on it you can see that it will make the point sharper and now I can just simply select it and let's drag it to somewhere around here so yeah I think this is looking fine let me just quickly disable the grid and now we have our shape so let's select this and let's give it a really nice red color something like this just click on ok now we can do one more thing you can select this and let's move its anchor point to the bottom something like this now we can turn back all the layers on and now we can select this and you can make this 3d as well after that you can select this layer hold down the shift key and just parent it to the track solid one so that it will orient itself according to it now we can select this and press r to rotate it and we can rotate it so that it looks like that it is standing on top of it 
something like this we can probably disable the solid so now if i play back here you can see that we have our marker and it is placed on top of this building and we can probably play around with these parameters let's set this to 90 and we can probably scale this up something like this now it's completely up to you you can just simply select this and you can change the size of the inner circle however you want so let's go inside this and let's go under transformation and we can change its size so yeah i think this scale looks good now we are going to make this into a 3d geometry so for that we have to change the render setting for that let's change the render setting so go under the composition setting 3d render and from here change this from classic 3d to cinema 4d just click on ok now we can select this and you will see that we have these two options over here geometry option so we can go under that and let's increase the extrusion depth so you can see that it will add some 3d geometry to your scene and in case you are not able to see anything it's because we don't have any light so let's go to layer new light and let's create a point light just click on ok so right away you can see that we have some 3d geometry now let's select this and we are going to change this bevel from none to concave and let's increase the bevel depth to something like this so now you can see that we have this really nice bevel edges so once you're happy with it we are pretty much done with this and let's play it so you can see that now we have our 3d location pop-up we can probably play around with its rotation however you want so yeah, i think this is looking fine now let's quickly add one more light so that it will add some ambience to it so go to layer new light and from this time let's change it from point to ambient just click on ok so now you can see that it is quite bright so we can select the ambient light and let's go under the light option and we can decrease the intensity to however you want something like this and you will notice that in this image you can see that the light is coming from this side somewhere around here and so we want our light to be placed exactly over there so for that we can change the view so let's go to the top view and from here we can select our shape so you can see that this is our shape and this is our light so we can select the light and now let's move it so we are going to place it exactly where we think the sun was somewhere around here so let's go back to the scene and there you go now you can see that we have this area is much brighter as compared to this exactly like these wind buildings so this is exactly how the lighting is going on so we can probably select this and i don't like this orientation so just play around with it whenever you think that it's fine now we can animate this so select this press s and let's add a scale key keyframe and let's move it somewhere around here and in the beginning let's set this to zero after that you can select all of these press f9 then go under the graph and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph now we can select the end point and let's move it all the way over here something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have this pop-up of the location pointer which is exactly what we want and you can see that it is aligned perfectly with the building so if you want you can select this and let's move it a little bit up so that it's in the air just like this you can make the keyframes come closer so this is looking fine now let's add some text to this as well so let's select the text tool and we are going to type whatever you want so it's completely up to you you can type whatever location you want you can type any restaurant or a place whatever you want so after that we can select this and now let's make this 3d as well and we can go under the geometry option and let's make this 3d something like this now we can select this and you can hold down the shift key and let's parent it to the shape layer one just like this so now you can see that it has automatically oriented itself now we can probably 
select this and let's move it to the side something like this we can probably scale its size as well so here you can see that we have created our text as well so if you think that it's too much extruded then we can simply go over here and let's decrease it somewhere around here now you can also add some animation to your text you can add simple scale animation to this or you can add the animation from the animation property so if i want to animate the position and let's set this to somewhere around here after that i can add a keyframe let's set this to negative 100 let's move a couple of frames ahead let's set this to 100 let's go under the advance and let's change the mode let's change the shape from square to ramp up let's set the height to 0 and ease low to 100 so that it's smoother at the end just like this you can also add some scale animation so let's set this to 0 so there you go now we have our text animation so this is how you can create some 3d pop-up now if you want you can also add some shadow overhead but for that we are going to fake it so for that let's select the pen tool and we are going to just randomly draw a shape layer so let's just randomly draw some shape something like this and we are going to select this and change its color to black and after that we can select this and let's apply Gaussian blur to this just drag it onto this and let's increase its blurriness and we can also change the mode from normal to overlay and let's decrease the opacity to something like this so now you can see that it looks like that we have a really nice shadow and you can play around with it and let's pretend that it's of the shape of this marker something like this so in the same way we can also select this and let's move its anchor point somewhere around here and we can also animate its scale so let's add a keyframe let's select this press u and we are going to move this keyframe to exactly where this animation is happening and in the beginning let's set this to zero and let's set the curves to something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have the animation of the shadow as well so in the same way you can add the animation for the this text as well so you can just simply duplicate this and we can probably move it below all of these layers something like this so if i play back here you can see that we have some really nice shadow behind the text and the marker as well so this is how you can create some really nice 3d pop-up in after effects and i hope you learned something from this video the tutorial file for this project are available on patreon so if you want to download them then you can support me over there so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one